Hi, my name's Fred Zelt. I'm a geologist living in Pittsburgh, and I'd like to give you an overview of six publicly available longer talks about 25 bike trails in Western Pennsylvania and their landscapes. So this will be an overview and let me share the screen here and get things going. Um, this is part of a 22 and 22 series uh, uh, sponsored by Pittsburgh nonprofit Venture Outdoors uh, and led by me and Earth Science Excursions here in 2022. Um, there are actually 25 trails that 22 with numbers and then we put together a wilds weekend. You can see the circles with W. So 25 major bike trails, each uh, longer than uh, 10 miles in Western Pennsylvania and adjacent states. We've um, put a list together here. You can see the names of the trails on the right um, to go with the map, uh, the circles on the left uh, with the background being an, a map of elevation, low being green and higher being red. And then you can see the dates in the middle of the slide of the original plan. Um, we did defer a couple of them to different dates uh, because of uh, weather, uh, but we've held 20 of them so far. We have five more left this month. I'm recording this in October of 2022, um, and we should be finished by the end of the month. But there you can see the list of the 25 trails, 22 and 22 plus Wilds Weekend. And we've grouped them into uh, um, six themes. Um, you can see uh, with the outlines um, that tr the 25 trails are in some areas with consistent types of landscapes, consistent geology, and a bit of uh, history too. Uh, for example, in bl the blue outline are the Allegheny and Ohio River Valleys talks. Um, so there's six of those. And the whole purpose of this talk is in to introduce each of, each of the six to you um, so that you can uh, choose to watch uh, any or all as you like. Um, they total about six hours of viewing, um, and, but there's a lot of uh, content in each one and, and you'll come out of viewing them with a lot more knowledge about the region, I think. So I'll go through them one by one, starting with the first one that was created in April about the Allegheny and Ohio River Valleys. In the lower right of the slide, you can see how long that each video is, as well as the address, the web address. But if you just search 22 and 22 geology on Google, you should be able to find them. Or if you search my unusual name, Fred Zelt, on YouTube, you should be able to find them. This one uh, covers the uh, uh, river, uh, the bike paths that are directly on the Allegheny and Upper Ohio Rivers, plus some of their tributaries. So it includes to the north there, Oil Creek in Oil Creek State Park, the Samuel Justice Trail, the Sandy Creek Trail, Allegheny River Trail, Red Bank, Armstrong, Butler Freeport, Three Rivers Heritage, and the Wheeling Heritage and Brooks Pioneer Trails. And each of these six talks has some content that's unique to that talk. The unique content about this, we don't talk about the bedrock geology here. We talk about the river valleys and how they were reshaped as a result of glaciations coming in the last uh, two and a half million years or so. And also, also the deepening of the river valleys uh, by 200 feet or so during that time, which has given us some really special and scenic aspects of the landscapes, including on uh, some of these bike paths. Also, it's left former ancient river terraces high and dry on the sides of valleys. Those were natural places for people to live uh, as the area developed. So many of the towns and cities in the area are on those terraces. A lot of people live on those terraces. And I think you may be surprised um, as you see uh, where those are. There's also a, a little special topic about early iron furnaces. Um, on the Allegheny River Trail excursion, we uh, did go to visit the Rockland Furnace. Um, it's not on the trail, but it's a, it's a short hike to reach it. So there's a special uh, little segment on early iron furnaces in the Allegheny River Trail talk. The next theme is Laurel Highlands. There are only two bike trails in this. They're both great, Indian Creek Valley Trail. And for the Great Allegheny Passage, we emphasize the peak of the passage, the highest part of the Gap Trail between Myersdale and off to the east there, the um, big uh, overlook just east of uh, the Big Savage Tunnel. The thing that's special about this, we go into the most detail about the bedrock geology, the rocks that are hundreds of millions of years old below our feet, um, their composition and uh, ages, 
and how the composition reflect is reflected in the landscape, the ridges and valleys, the shapes of them, and also the land use, how they've affected the bedrocks affected the soils and the use of the land. And there's a special focus in this talk on the highest part of the Great Allegheny Passage, as, as I mentioned, the 10 miles just east of Myersdale. Also at the end, many of the sandstones that are visible at the surface, both in the Laurel Highlands and really throughout the region, much of the region, um, have special traces um, that you'll be able to interpret in terms of evidence of the flowing water that deposited the sand grains, which later became sandstones. So those are the special topics in this talk, 67 minutes long. This one's also been popular since it was posted. Uh, the Pittsburgh Plateau talk with five trails, West Penn, Westmoreland Heritage, Panhandle, Montour, and the Sheepskin and Mon River Rail Trail, which are contiguous. This one has a little bit about the bedrock geology, but it really focuses on resources of the plateau here. Agricultural resources, soil, rainfall, and climate, but also energy resources. Um, there's a bit about coal, section on oil and natural gas, with special highlights on the Murraysville gas field and the McDonald oil field. And also there's discussion of nuclear wind and hydro energy resources, as well as talking about these uh, bike paths, the rails that became trails here. The next one is the Connemaw Uplands, including the Path of the Flood Trail, the Ghost Town Trail, and the Hootabug Trail. Um, and the focus on this is what makes this a, a really special corner of the world, a special part of the region, and why did the main lines of the Pennsylvania Canal and Pennsylvania Railroad cross this area, cross the Allegheny Front in this area. Uh, we'll talk about the Staple Bend Tunnel Trail, um, including the oldest railroad tunnel in the country. We'll talk about the path of the flood trail. There's a section uh, with some special things about the Johnstown flood. There are echoes of the Johnstown flood that affect all of us in the United States every day. Um, and so we'll talk about that. Also, coal mining in this region, there's some special echoes of that, um, including in art. Um, we show some of the really neat uh, art that's uh, uh, present in the region. You can go visit and see uh, that relates to the coal mining history of this uh, area. The glaciated northwestern part of Pennsylvania has two of the major bike trails, the Carl Boys and Stavich. Carl Boys being on Presque Isle State Park and the Stavich being uh, between Newcastle and Youngstown. This is the talk where we go into the most detail about climate. We talk about climate in many of the others, but this one has the most information and detail about climate. And we talk about the glaciations. Because Presque Isle's on Lake Erie, this is a time to talk about uh, an overview of the Great Lakes, but also why the Great Lakes are where they are and why they're shaped as they are. And we talk about the special origin of Presque Isle, why, why there's only one of those along the Southern Erie Lakeshore here in Pennsylvania, and a lot of other special features of the Erie Lakeshore too. The Stavich bike trail is unusual in that it was the path of an interurban trolley uh, connecting towns and cities. Uh, the network of those is amazing. And we show a map of those uh, throughout the Midwest and coming into Western Pennsylvania. Um, those were an amazing network before there were automobiles. Um, so this, this talk is uh, 70 minutes long, again, publicly available. The last one of these that was created just last month in September is the Pennsylvania Wilds with four great bike trails here in the Western Pennsylvania part of the wilds. Uh, the West Creek Trail, the Clarion Little Toby Trail, Mahoning Shadow, and Rail 66. We do mention the Pine Creek Trail. Don't think of that really as in Western Pennsylvania, but um, we do mention that one too. And the special topics here, this one's only 29 minutes long, so it's the briefest of them, but we talk about what makes the wilds, the Pennsylvania wilds, what makes it special, the effect of geology on the shape of the land and land use here, and why is there so much public land in this wilds region? So those are the six talks. Um, I encourage you to pick ones you might be interested in. Um, as I said, it's about six hours content in total. Uh, it took me far more than 60 hours to create them. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you use these as a, a reason to get out and, and explore these 25 great major bike paths. Um, and also think about it. If there's something about the outdoors that is of particular interest to you, 
maybe it's uh, bird watching, wildlife, uh, maybe it's uh, the trees, flowers, plants. Um, think about whether you might uh, introduce what you know about those things uh, to the public in a similar way here, using uh, state parks as uh, public spaces or these bike trails. I've certainly learned a lot making these um, talks and I've uh, uh, met lots of great people in leading the rides as a volunteer with uh, nonprofit Venture Outdoors. Um, I'll also mention <laughs> the first talk was recorded in April and you'll see that I grow a beard progressively in the course of the talks. Um, and the light, later talks, no beard. I was growing it while our soldier son was deployed. He's back now. Um, so anyway, that's, a, that's kind of a feature that you'll see of these talks too. So there they are, uh, 22 and 22 plus the three wilds weekend uh, rides uh, or trails, 25 in total. So many great trails to explore, including uh, the West Creek Trail shown here. So I hope you enjoy those talks and uh, I hope to see you out, out on the trail and I uh, hope you get to explore lots of these great bike paths. Take care.